Hello and welcome to the People's News, Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. I have some really great news for you today and I'm actually going to see if my partner over here wants to actually let me give you news. So give me one second and let's see what, let's ask him, shall we? Do you think we should actually well, give him Stimulus Check package? package? Fuck no, oh, man. Come on, really? They don't deserve a Stimulus Package you know Update. Screw my friend over no, here. Let me give you the Stimulus Package Update anyways. Know. How about that? That's you know not what? right. You just get out of here. Well, fine. Come on. Be man. that way. I will just get out of here. Just go, guys. okay? There we go. That's better. How's that? That's just me talking to you. And now I get to bring you the news and stimulus information that I hope makes you very, very happy. Well, to start off with, let's start off with our good news part for today. Today, Reverend uh, Raphael Warnock, the Democrat, is projected, or should I say, has defeated um, the white supremacist uh, Kelly Leffler. And that has been proven because she took a picture with a former KKK leader and gave the excuse that, well, I didn't know what he, what he did. And in, in, in her defense, which there is none, you always know who you can take a picture with. So she knew what she was doing. So basically she sunk her own ship. <clears throat> And then they said, police arrested Henry Torrio. I can't say his last name. He's a leader of the far right extremist group, the Proud Boys, for allegedly lighting a Black Lives Matter banner on fire during the Washington, Washington D.C. rally that turned violent actually last month. And then, let's see, who is it? Uh, Je uh, Texas Senator John Cryan will not object to the certification of Biden's win. He says he isn't planning to object to anything, the, any part of the certification of Electoral College. And then, if Republicans lose in Georgia, Senate runoff, the, loses Senate runoff since Georgia, one of the state's most vocal Republicans, Republican election officials said that he will basically blame Donald Trump for it. And I don't blame him because uh, Donald Trump's, when he was trying to help out Kelly Leffler, um, he basically spoke more about his campaign and election fraud as he, than he did hers. So he didn't really help her out. And then President Trump tagged this John, Senator John Cran from Texas in a tweet asking Democrats and, well, asking Democrats and rhinos to mind the large crowds of Trump supporters in Washington, Washington D.C. earlier in the day. Cran said that he would not object to certification of electoral college votes aiming affirming Joe Biden's victory in the presidential election. Trump repeated the false claim that he won the elections by a landslide. Wow, isn't that nice? All right. Then Vice President Pence has reportedly informed President Trump that he does not have the authority to challenge the results of the 2020 electoral election, basically. And as you see, um, there's, there's people that are loyal. There's people that aren't loyal. The Trump supporters are loyal to Trump, but he's not loyal to them. And as you see from what I just said, Pence is loyal to the people, but he's seeing how bad Trump is and he's losing his loyalty to Trump. A federal judge in Atlanta on Tuesday denied President Trump's last attempt to thwart the state's election results which certified that President Joe Biden won the state in November. And that basically actually just covers all my news for you today. So without further ado, how about we get started with that, that nice little stimulus talk? Because I know you're looking for that one. I was going to help you out a lot. So let's get started on that one. Well, everybody, as I stated earlier, I do have some very good news for you guys. I think you'll be happy about this news. Osloff and Warnock won the Senate runoffs in Georgia. And now that we have a Democratic president, a Democratic Senate, and a Democratic House, it's time to get some stuff done, don't you, don't you think? I mean, of course, that's after Biden replaces Donald Trump in the White House as president. The poll shows Osloff got 2,238,939 votes. That's about 35,000 more than um, Purdue got. And then Warnock got 2,257,858 votes, and that is about 73,000 more votes than Lesloff got. I think, 
Oh, lost, lost. Yeah, I think her name is. So it's a good day in, in the Congress and presidency, except the protest, protesting go on. I'm sure you saw some of my live stream earlier that I did a little bit of live stream of the protest. So hopefully, you know, see any crap still going on. And if you remember that uh, Leffler said that, oh, it was Kelly Leffler, <laughs> said that she was joining the Senate Republicans in an attempt to overturn the um, counting of the Electoral College votes. In response to that, Ronald Klain, which is soon to be President Biden's chief of staff, fired off a uh, reply to her. In fact, I'll show you that tweet right now. I mean, think about why, 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 do you, why would you subscribe to a uh, theory that the election process is flawed in Georgia and other states while simultaneously wanting the, as many people to go out and vote for you on election day? I mean, that don't make any sense, don't you think? I mean, why would you go out there and say it, it's flawed and it's wrong and then expect people to go out there and vote for you when you basically just fed their head full of crap? The new two, two new senators in the Georgia runoff even received more votes in Georgia than Biden did in his in the 2020 November campaign. And the funny thing is, big tech are having their stocks sort of drop because they're basically afraid of what's going to happen with a Democrat in the Senate, House, and President, and they should be because. They're going to be getting hit with higher taxes and more regulations. And if you remember, Biden said that if the Democrats win the Senate, the two thousand dollars stimulus checks are as good as in your hands. Well, they're going to be as good as in your hand because basically, we now have uh, Chuck Schumer, which is now the Senate Majority Leader, and now he will have a chance to put the standalone two thousand dollars stimulus check bill on the floor. The only problem is, is will it pass? Because they need a total of exactly 60 votes for it to pass. And since you got 50, 50 uh, Democrats and the Vice President, which is a Democrat, which is a uh, Vice President of the Senate, that's 51, but they still need 10 more votes to get it to pass. I mean, there is a few uh, Republicans out there um, that might actually go along with the idea and pass it. But if you also remember, uh, Biden also talked about he has bigger stimulus packages ideas in mind. I mean, they, they could easily put um, the $2,000 stimulus check uh, idea as a standalone bill, or they could attach it to a much larger bill. And what I'm thinking is, is now that we've got, this, we've got the Senate majority lead with Democrats, maybe they should try for, I don't know, say uh, the HEROES Act. That would actually help out a lot of essential workers put more money into the unemployment, most likely would also help out with renters insurance and, and, and mortgage for bans and other stuff like that, that we've been talking about for a long time. So let's just hope that they actually decide to put that in the bill because that'd be really good. Nice. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Have an excellent evening and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Until then, bye.